Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael, humble seeker of truth for the waters of Meribah. Wow. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video, uh, Final Days, I highly suggest watching that before this one. It will strengthen this one, help your understanding. If you understand what I'm about to share, and it's pretty, it's so off the chart amazing that I think it's going to help some people. Helps me. Humongous confirmation. It's, it's beyond confirmation. It's proof that Father did indeed tell me to give the world a 40-day warning on March 2nd. And that he told me to say yet 40 days. Then he told me that uh, on the declaration after telling us the exact minute to make declaration and shout. And he, last minute-ish, I was three hours away. He told me, go to the river, go to the bridge to deck, to pray and make declaration and so I did he took us to the water and I've said he's dividing us at the water and then I said that he said to me in here these are your waters of Meribah well that uh Certainly ties into the mantle of Moses, doesn't it? Um, and a lot of people scoff at that. That's fine. But um, let's... So Father's going to uh, prove that out in the most amazing way. And I think you're going to be super blessed. And uh, at least I hope so. What it does, it tells us exactly where we are emphatically without any doubt. It's... Wait till you see it. Somebody uh, messaged me from yesterday's, or a couple of videos ago, because I had used uh, 455. It was nautical twilight in Jerusalem, I believe, on the 10th of April. And they said, I want to hear more about that 455. I haven't really had time to do that, but I find it interesting that... So, as we get into the waters of uh, Meribah, let me decide if I want to do this at the beginning or end. I have it at the beginning, so I prayed about him ordering it. So I'm just going to cover it. So, last night, um, I did not plan on doing a video today. I had no idea I'd have this locked and loaded, ready to go. So, middle of the night, I just, I had picked my phone up and I was going to check messages. And it was open, randomly open to a Bible app. And not only was it open to the app, but it was open on a verse. So, it highlighted, you know, like three verses. And then one is open where it gives you all the Strong's numbers and the all the information about the words in that verse. And I uh, was going to click off it right away, and the and, uh, Holy Spirit stopped me. And uh, I looked at it. it. It was Acts 23. Acts 26, let's go there. Absolutely, God did that. Absolutely. I'm going to show you. He stamps everything big time. X26. Verse 16. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which... I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. 
to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. This is the verse that was highlighted. And from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me, saith the Lord Jesus Christ. Two open first words, number 455. There, to open their eyes. It's number 846. Um, eight is new beginning, 46 is true temple. This greatly has to do with the lost sheep which are in Jacob's trouble, the 55. 78 is the unity of Yahweh and sons. This breaks down very interestingly. Him is 1,952 times, so it's 5,785 times total. It's interesting, I've never looked at this word, and I skipped right over it, and he's, no. Go back and look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, watch what's there. You think God's sending you? What do you find when you get there? It's 195 and 952. 195 is exactness. 952 is to make clear or explain. Okay, so there is translated into hymn number one, 1952 times, set in our pace. It's his 18, 100. 84 times, 1,084 times, that is full circle in 184. It is his. Okay? Himself? Okay, if Father opened that verse for me, and he was speaking to me, and yes, he was absolutely doing so, he's personalized it. This is fruit. Okay, himself, oh, that's 58 times. Because on the day God told me to make a 40-day declaration and say, yet 40 days, I turned 58. Himself is very personally stamped. And the cool thing is how, how I got here. <laughs> he just... Let's read it again. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. And the, from the power of Satan unto God. So, a little more to this story that I didn't, I should have prefaced. So, as I saw that God is number 410 and number 430, and then we saw how 132 brings us to April or to May 12th, the 132nd day of the year, and we've seen how that tied in last video. Yet 40 days. It is a 40-day warning, but it's used 132 times. Father pinned the declaration, and I believe he pinned uh, the manifestation day. If not, he will keep doing what he keeps doing. leading us telling us exactly where we're at what he's doing i'm going to show you how exactly oh boom oh my gosh okay don't get me excited now okay god 410 and 430 well i knew there was num another number for god where big g god in the Translation was used 1,320 times. That's 132 full circle. I couldn't remember what number it was, and until Father took me to a verse, or I stumbled on a verse with that number on it, I wouldn't know. So I prayed about it. I'm like, Father, we take me to a verse that's got that in it. So we did. Okay. I mean, he might as well have just went and handed me the phone. Here. Check it out. <laughs> okay. 
to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, used 1,320 times big G. Ooh, goosebumps. <laughs> what? Oh, this is 3 and 216 because this word has to do with family. God in relation to his family. That's why it's three part harvest in 216, which is the three vavs. 216 is six times six times six. Light is number 216 in Strong's. Father in relation to his family. Hmm. That they, there's same thing as this. Did you catch that? <laughs> uh, by faith. 4102. It's 410. And it's full circle in 412. The day he had us make a declaration. Here's our next stop. That's not even really part of the teaching. Worthy of note. <laughs> okay. I know we just reviewed it last video. It's so relevant, okay? I, and I probably just said it. I did just say it. So, March 2nd, 3-2, my birthday. Father told me to give the world a 40-day warning and say yet 40 days. See, this is figured in Jonah. Exactly. I did a video, the exacting message of Jonah. It pictures exactly what's went on with my life. I'm not proud to say. I have been lost at times. And I was in the, the belly of the whale. If you care to, you can go check out that video. But Father stamps everything. It's, it's all here. Tell them yet 40 days. Yet 40 used 132 times. Number 132 is red, because red, great red dragon, Esau, red is coming. So, Father showed me that when we got to the river, we have this exacting message of Gideon, and it ties to Jonah. It ties to Michael. Gideon does picture Michael. We just covered this. This is the year and day that I was born. Judges 632. Where father changes Gideon's uh, name to Jerubal. Tear down of the altar of Baal. And we've seen this exactness. Pins. Michael the Archangel. The minute I was born. Exact birthday. I don't know. if father's going to stamp something out. Do you think... The day of my birth, the minute that I was born, and what it's all about. Jonah, yet 40 days. Please go to Matthew 12. Verse 39, but he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now we know this speaks towards our Lord personally, physically. It also 
Well, and interestingly, he was rose he was raised on the third day. This stands as a unique entry in this Bible. This is three days and three nights. Why would it say raised on the third day? Because that's not three days and three nights complete. I don't care how you twist it. It's not. So why state it this way here? Because this is a sign. You aren't getting a sign, you wickedness generation. Except the sign of Jonah the prophet. It's three days, three nights in the whale's belly. Ah. What is three days and three nights? Oh, it's 72 hours, isn't it? He put it in their face. While Israel was 72, and now we have a 72-day count from 3 to 21, bringing us to May 12th. Notice it's in verse 41. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. Preaching of Jonah, that's verse 41.0. It's 410. The end of the 40-day warning Father told me to give on March 2nd. Tied to 72 hours, which is 72 days. Do you understand the sign of Jonah, the prophet? Let's pop over to Matthew 17. This We're still preliminary to this. I am truly running out of adjectives that even come close to describing what our Father is doing. The beauty. 17.1. After six days, Jesus takes Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brings them up to a high mountain apart. Verse 2. 1. 7. 2. And was transfigured. After six days. What six days? Well, notice it's not six days and nights. It's six days. Our Lord says, don't you know there's 12 hours in the day? Six times 12 is 72. And then verse 172, he was transfigured before them. Notice who he takes up here. Peter, James, and John. Several places. These three dudes are brothers. I say dudes in the absolute most respectful, loving way. Uh, hopefully that's not offensive to anybody. Peter, 162, five times. James, 42, five times, because we're talking about the period of Jacob's trouble. You want to understand the book of James? That'll help. John, 133 times. Well, interestingly, 162 and 42 is 204. 204 days from the Feast of Trumpets 2020 to April 10th. After six days, okay, 72 brings us to 512, the 132nd day of the year, after six days will be the next day, wouldn't it? 133. Oh, this becomes really, really huge. <laughs> it's also number 133 is a Prince of Persia, because a Prince of Persia is involved in this. It's not saying John is a Prince of Persia. This is amazing. Especially if you understand this number right here. Oh, what did I do with that? 
Ephesians 2. Verse 20. Now there, verse 19, now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. In that single verse, we have built upon, which is number 2026. It's 2,026 days. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I get a lot of numbers running in my head. And are built upon number 2026 from September 23rd, 2015, when they made a covenant with Satan. Beginning the last week of Daniel, which is greatly misunderstood as far as timing and length of time. 2026 days exactly from September 23rd 2015 to April 10th and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ himself being the 204 the 204 the chief cornerstone number 204 so yes from the celebration of his birthday feast of trumpets 2020 204 days to April 10th. Father, when he showed me this, said, see what percentage of the year it is, divide it by 365. It's 55.8904109. You catch that? 55 and 89 per Fibonacci sequence brings us exactly, it is the river. It is, does depict the river. I'm going to assume you understand what that means. Here's our 0410410. The calculation itself pins exactly the river and 410 and Father took us to the river and we made declaration at the minute he said. Nine digits, by the way, uh, out to divine order. And if we add up these digits, it is once again 41.0410. Boom. We were looking at that as it relates to Peter, James, and John. If you pop over to Luke 8. Verse 51. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter, James, and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And he wept and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she's not dead, but sleeps. And they laughed him to scorn. He put out the unbelief, and he said, Maid, arise, Talitha, Kumi. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded her to give meat. Okay, so... And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat or food. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should not tell, or they should tell no man what was done. Verse 9-1. Then he called the twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority. Authority 184, 7 or 9. Look, it's absolutely amazing. Same thing, Peter, James, John, okay? We get to 9-1. He gives the 12 power. 12 is number 1427. It's 42 in 17. It's 42 months and 17 days from the great sign of Revelation 12 to April 10th. Same thing that pins. Oh, we're first in verse 409 here, by the way, in 91. 49. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, verse 410, and to heal the sick. <laughs> you 
you 72 times. So 4217, we've seen Father use that a ton. I just said it, I know, and I've said it a million times. 42 months, 17 days from the sign of Revelation 12 to April 10th. Okay, we're past April 10th, so we started last video considering how God used that. Well then, what does it look like when we get to where we are? now and where we're going in the next few days so 4217 by the way before we move on to the 43s 42 months and 17 days to april 10th uh it's the 4217th verse of the bible is number 1622 i am gonna blow you guys away like seriously strap in this is as cool as anything I've had the privilege of sharing with you. And as personal. But let's, uh, let's look at this first. 1622. And they fell upon their faces and said, O oh God, the God of the spirits of all flesh. 1622a. The God, O oh God. O oh God, the God, O oh God, 410, the God, 430, there's our 21 days, counting that and that. And they fell on their faces, miscellaneous 195 times, we're going to look at this. O oh God, the God of the spirits of all flesh. You see that progression? So Father said, uh, go look at, um, you know, where we go from there. So 42.17, well, what's 5.12 in, the, in and thereabouts? Okay. Verse wise. Okay, so we just looked at the 4217th verse in the Bible, 4217 pinning 410. And it's that verse. How about 4316? So 43 months and 16 days from the great sign of Revelation 12, September 23rd, 2017 to May 9th. What is today, the 8th? 43.16. Well, that pins, okay. That pins May 9th. The 4316th verse in the Word of God is Numbers 24. If case you didn't catch that, that's 204. Father, what I'm going to show, okay, all right, what I'm going to show you, this section, let's read it, okay, Numbers 20, verse 4, and why have you brought the congregation of the Lord into this wilderness that we and our cattle should die there, here's the murmurers, and wherefore have you made us to come up out of Egypt to bring us into this evil place? It is no place of seed or of figs or of vines or of oil or pomegranates. Oops, there's no oil in there. Or of pomegranates. Neither is there any water to drink. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and they fell upon their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. Verse 4, 24, 204 is 4316, and we're counting from there. We're going to highlight this in chart, so don't worry if uh, that sounds confusing. In the, uh, 
And the Moses and Aaron went up from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They fell upon their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto them. 4318th verse in this word of God. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take the rod and gather the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water. And thou shalt bring forth... <clears throat> There's figures in here, okay? Just like the Red Sea. It's, it's not just the Red Sea. It's the Red Sea. Parting. Do you understand? There's a flood of enemies coming. Father uses one word to describe it. Red. He parts those waters so the believers can go through. Okay? Same thing here. This rock. He's going to break the rock forth that the waters come forth. Waters, peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. Those that side with Satan. If you read the Song of Moses, they forsake the rock that begat them, Almighty God, and they stand on a different rock. He says, you want to stand on that rock? Okay, we'll see what your latter end shall be. Okay. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. Oh, verse 8. Take the rod and gather the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother. <coughs> Clean. And speak you unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water. And thou shalt bring forth them to the water out of the rock. So, so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. Okay, so there's a lot of different figure here, and I might have just muddied this. So let me back out of that half a step. Let's keep going. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, you rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? So Father tells Moses to go do this, he, and he's going to be glorified in it. And so Moses is angry. That's not his great sin here. We're going to see in a second. And he said unto them, Here now, you rebels. Oh, what, we got to fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly. And the congregation drank in their beasts also. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, Because you believed me not. There's our problem. There's the sin that kept Moses from going into the promised land. When Father told me, These are your... He said, Go to the bridge. Then he showed me in Gideon that I took you to the water and what he's doing at the water and how exacting that is and he said by revelation son these are your waters of meribah you can you can go back and see that in video april 11th april 12th somewhere in there i had no idea about this till yesterday or the day before Because you believed me not to sanctify, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord and he was sanctified in them. Moses believed not when they got to this place, figuratively to the water. Father said, these are your waters of Meribah to me. Don't make the same mistake that Moses made. 
I didn't fully even under fully understand that till last night to see the tie into this believing. Thank God my believing has not wavered because I'm a thousand percent certain this is all him. He still reveals things in his perfect timing. And so he, he this is him showing you emphatically this is him leading. Not me. Watch him prove this out. Watch him prove and vindicate my words. Because that's the Father that we serve. He is faithful, thousand percent sure, and a thousand percent sovereign and on his throne. Okay, these are the waters of Meribah. So we're going to pick this up at the murmur. Numbers 5-9 are uh, the 4316th verse in this word of God. 43 months and 16 days to May 9th, tomorrow, is verse 24 this pins 410. It pins the river exactly. And it pins May 9th. It's the waters of Meribah. Exactly. Oh. Number 4316 is Micah. Which means who is like God. It is another form of Michael. Which means who is like God. If A equals B. And C equals B, or A equals B and B equals C, A equals C. This is Michael. Absolutely. How about 4317? That would be May 10th. Verse 25. Okay. We just read through this. It is Michael the Archangel. Very exacting. Michael is a 99 sheep. In case you didn't catch that. Somebody just messaged me again. It's not in the... It, it's... Uh, that's not biblical. No, it's not biblical to say Michael was in the Old Testament. There's only one verse that even suggests it. And that's in Jude. And that's just because no one understands it. In light of the horrendous veil Satan has put over the church's face regarding archangels. That wasn't that Moses. It was the one picking up the mantle of Moses. It was a living body. It was Michael. Jude 1, 9. Oh. Yes, it was. I was there. I said the words, the Lord rebuke thee. And I know why. Forty-three seventeen, Michael the Archangel, May tenth. Forty-three eighteen, Micaiah, who is like God, Michael. Forty-three nineteen, Micaiah, who is like God, Michael. It is also ruin and disaster. It's used three times. Two of them are in Ezekiel seven twenty-six because. This is 512, which is 8 times 8 times 8, by the way, which is the gematria of Jesus, 888. Uh, it's twice in Ezekiel 726, Harpazo. The other use is it's ruin and disaster and it's cover. Which is, whose sins are covered. That's how that's used. So, the one use, whose sins are covered, tells us who's, what's going to happen with those getting harpazoed on 512? Very possibly. Keep watching here. Okay, the other is in Isaiah, the other use of ruin and disaster is in Isaiah 47, 11. 
Let's go there. Therefore shall evil come... Let's start in verse 10. So 47.10 is 7 in 4.10. Spiritual completion and perfection in 4.10. Uh, 46.11... Forty-seven, eleven is seven in four, eleven. Okay. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness; thou hast said, "None sees me." Thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee. This is talking about the wickedness using forbidden wisdom since the beginning of the age, when fallen angels came and gave forbidden knowledge to man. They've used it ever since to become the one percent elite of this world thy wisdom and knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thy heart I am and none else beside me that's exactly what Satan's agenda is to set his seat above the throne of God say he is the I am Verse 11, therefore shall Eve, that's 7 in 4, 10. Satan trying to set his throne above the seat of heaven and Father telling us to make declaration. Be cast out. And exactly when. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from hence it rises, and mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Suddenly, as in the days of Noah were. It's about to start raining. Enemies. This is talking about the synagogue of Satan. Satan in the synagogue of Satan. And it is in the verse... It's Strong's number 4319, okay, which is Michael and Ruin and Disaster. Forty three twenty. Micah Micaiah is Michael. It's used one time. Luke fourteen ten. Oh, there's our four ten. I can put a zero here and not change a thing. It's 410 either way. Picturing the river. 4320. 4321. 4321 from the menorah is Micaiah. It is Michael. 4322. Oh, you guessed it. Michael. Let me review that real quick. Going back to Numbers, where we started in 20, verse 4. Seriously, Father? Wow. It is. So it's the 4316th verse in the Word of God is number 20, Numbers 20, verse 4. We're going to count from there. And it is verse 4, Michael. Verse 5, Michael. Verse 6, Michael. Verse 7, Michael. Verse 8, Michael. Verse 9, Michael. Verse 10, Michael. Verse 11, Michael. No, verse through verse 10. It's seven times. Michael, 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 Michael. Who do you think the waters of Meribah refer to? Now those seven Michaels bring us to, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so blown away by him. It brings us to verse 11, which is 4323, the 4,323rd verse in this Bible, which would represent the 16th of May. And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. 
Next verse is 43.24. It is 2 in 4.34. Let's, uh, let's not skip over this. 43.23. Used one time. It's brook or stream. It's used one time. Let's check it out. It's 2 Samuel 17. Verse 20. That would be 21, 2021, and 72. Israel is 72. And we're looking at uh, 72 days to May 12th. If we go beyond that, Father will continue to give us wisdom. It's full circle. Brook or stream. Okay. 2 Samuel 17, verse 20. And when Absalom's servants came to the woman to the house, they said, Where is uh, Ahimaaz Ahimaz and Jonathan? And the woman said unto them, They be gone over the water. They be gone over the brook of the water. Say what? Yeah. Waters of Meribah. Father has us at the river right now. At the water. Dividing. Based on what? Same thing that kept Moses. That got him into hot water. Based on believing. If you can believe. Number 4100. Four ten and one hundred, because four ten's the hundredth day. Number forty two thirty, number forty three twenty four, forty three months and twenty four days from the great sign of Revelation twelve to May seventeenth. That is two, in four thirty four. There's the time we made declaration. And Father says. And survey says. Uh, numbers in all the videos I've done I still haven't learned to put my finger in the place I'm going back to um, number 20 sorry verse 12 43-24 and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because you believe me not to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel. Therefore, you shall not bring this congregation into the land. Well, guess what? I did not waver in unbelief, nor did Colleen. Father ever teaching. See, I got that light deforming my face <laughs> um, or forming it 4325 verse 13 this is the water of Meribah Oh, I hope I didn't make that confusing. If you guys understand that, it should lift you up, I would think. Wow, 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 and wow, Father. Just wow. I love you guys dearly. Our Lord is coming back. A flood of enemies is coming to this world. If no one believes it, it doesn't matter. It will come suddenly, and suddenly it will come. Any day now. Stop scoffing. Stop fighting me, if you are. Our enemy is Satan and his army. 
join with us in that fight. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to his son, Jesus the Christ. Blessings to you. See you soon.